Hello guys, here we are again, it's Rated TLC, teaching learning channel, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, like, and click the notification bell for you to be updated with my videos, thank you. Today, I'm going to teach you how to multiply numbers by 5 the easiest way. Yes guys, we are going to use mental computation. Before we start, let's do the review first. Direction, classify each number whether in odd or even. Let us check your answers. Remember guys, even numbers are numbers that are divisible by 2. They end with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. On the other hand, odd numbers are numbers that are not exactly divisible by 2. If you are going to divide them by 2, there will be a remainder of 1. These numbers usually end with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. For our drill, direction, divide each number by 2. Indicate what number is half of it. Guys, what is half of 8? Very good, it's 4. How about 12? Correct, it's 6. How about 28? Yes, it's 14. How about 236? 236 means 236. Half of 200 is 100. Half of 36 is 18. So, what is the sum of 118? Yes, it's 118. So half of 236 is 118. Lastly, what is half of 500? Yes, it's 250. Now, let us have another set of numbers. Guys, always remember that these are all odd numbers. They are not perfect numbers to be exactly divisible by 2. If you try to divide them by 2, they will have a remainder of 1. So let's start. Let us check. If we are going to divide 9 by 2, what will you get? Yes, it's 4, remainder 1. How about 27? Yes, it's 13, remainder 1. How about 31? Yes, it's 15, remainder 1. 41? Yes, it's 20, remainder 1. Lastly, 201? Yes, it's 100, remainder 1. Guys, can you see the logic why do we need to identify first numbers as odd or even? Likewise, why do we need to divide numbers by 2 to get their half? Yes, these two things will be needed in our study today. So let's start. How are we going to multiply numbers by 5? The easiest way. Simply, by following these steps. Step 1. Identify the number whether an even or odd. Step 2. If the factor is even, get its half. However, if it is an odd number, subtract 1 from it then get its half. Step 3. From your answer in step 2, if your factor is even, affix 0 to its 1's place. On the other hand, if it is odd, affix 5 to its 1's place. Let's try to answer the given example. What is the product of 12 and 5? First step, 12 is an even number. Second step, get half of 12. Of course we have 6. Lastly, since 12 is an even number, we are just going to affix 0 at 1's place. So, from 6, it will now become 60. Therefore, the product of 12 and 5 is 60. Let's try to get the product of 5 and 27. 
As we all know, 27 is an odd number. With this, we need to take away 1 from it. 27 minus 1 equals 26. Second step, get half of 26. Of course we have 13. Lastly, since 27 is an odd number, we are going to affix 5 at 1's place. So, from 13, it will now become 135. Therefore, the product of 5 and 27 is 135. Example number 3, get the product of 18 and 5. 18 is an even number. If we divide this number by 2 to get its half, then we will get 9. If we affix 0 to its 1's place, we will get 90. Meaning, the product of 18 and 5 is 90. Example number 4. What is the product of 5 and 26? 26 is an even number. Half of 26 is 13. Affix 0 at 1's place. From 13, it will be now 130. Therefore 5 times 26 is 130. Give the product of 5 and 84. 84 is an even number. If we divide this number by 2 to get its half, then we will get 42. If we affix 0 to its 1's place, from 42, we will get 420. Meaning, the product of 5 and 84 is 420. Let's have 13 and 5. What is the product of 13 and 5? 13 is an odd number. First, we need to subtract 1 from 13. The difference is 12. Next half of 12 is 6. Then since 13 is an odd number, affix 5 at 1's place. From 6, it will become 65. Therefore 13 times 5 is 65. Lastly, we have 29 and 5. What is the product of 29 and 5? 29 is an odd number. We need to subtract 1 from 29. We'll get 28. Half of 28 is 14. Since 29 is an odd number, we have to affix 5 at 1's place. From 14, it will become 145. Therefore, 29 times 5 is 145. I hope you understand the simple three steps of multiplying numbers by 5. For our first activity, direction. Choose the letter of the correct product of the given set of numbers. Now check your answers. For our activity number two, direction. Get the correct product of each set of numbers. Compute mentally. Check your answers. For our last activity, direction. Copy the set of numbers that shows correct equation and product. Compute mentally.
Guys, finally, we come to the end part of our video presentation. I would like to say thank you for watching my videos. Rated TLC, Teaching Learning Channel. Hopefully, these all will be beneficial for everybody. Again, please subscribe, like, share and click the notification bell for more videos. Thank you.